To enter Doppler modes, first we'll choose PW or CW Doppler. This Doppler works for both. First you'll hit Doppler if you had CW Doppler with a sector probe attached, CW would show up. But for now we hit Doppler and it's going to give me PW Doppler. Here we would change the angle for correction, change the gate size, and here's another for angle correction and steering. When we're ready to go into Doppler, we're going to click Update. And here we can change our scale, move up or down the baseline, invert it, we can change the volume, change our wall filter, go to page two, here's our sweep speed, and our trace choices. Go back to 2D, we're going to press the 2D button. Let's press color to go to color Doppler. Here we are in color Doppler. Press it again, we're in color power Doppler. This shows that my steering is at 15% and there's a little window and I don't know if you can see the other window here. In order to change the size of this box, we're going to hit the select key. We'll change the size of the box, we'll hit select again and it allows us to move the position. and change the size. Hit select. Here's our flow sensitivity here. We can choose it to medium or low. Our PRF scale for post repetition frequency. Wall filter steering for the steering angle of the box. Here we can hide or show our color map. Go to color power Doppler. We have an additional page here. We can invert the scale. We can change our wall filter and again suppress that color image there. We can also go back to Doppler and add our pulse wave Doppler and hit update. We can update to update our 2D image here. change our box, click update again, and that's how we're going to do our duplex imaging. And that's the Doppler modes on the Sonos Side Edge. Next we'll get into system setup and customization.